So here we have a model of the entire ear. Let's start with the outer ear. The outer ear has got this structure that you kind of think of as your ear, which is actually called the auricle. It's also known as a pinna. Uh, sound is going to go into your ear down this tube, and this tube is called the auditory canal or external acoustic meatus. The outer ear ends right here with this structure, which is called the tympanic membrane, and it's also called the tympanum. And the tympanum is also known as your eardrum, but that's not its medical term. From there, we are looking at the middle ear. The middle ear has got three bones in it that are called the ossicles. Let's look at a real enlargement of the ossicles. The ossicles are three small bones. The one that is attached to the eardrum is called the malleus. The malleus is shaped like a hammer or a mallet, and that's actually how it got its name. The bone in the middle of these three bones kind of looks like a tooth, and it is called the incus. And the third bone is called the stapes, and it looks like the stirrup of a riding saddle for a horse. So we've got the eardrum. Attached to the eardrum would be the malleus, then the incus, then the stapes, and they are in this area called the middle ear. The middle ear is attached actually to the back of your throat through this tube that is called the eustachian tube. It's also known as the auditory tube. So that's the middle ear. The job of the middle ear is to take the vibration of the tympanum and amplify it and turn it into a mechanical motion. Now let's open up this part of the skull, the bone of the skull, to find the inner ear. The inner ear is found inside of the bony labyrinth or osseous labyrinth that's right inside this bone of the skull. And the inner ear is made up of different parts. In general, we have got the cochlea, where we have nerve cells that allow you to experience sound. We have got the vestibule, which is in general going to give you your sense of up and down. And we have got these three rings, which are the semicircular canals. Let's look at an enlarged version of just the inner ear, and that would be this. Here we have got the cochlea, we have got the vestibule, and we have got one, two, three semicircular canals. The cochlea, when you open it up, you can tell that it is a couple of tubes that carry fluid this way, all the way in, and then a tube that carries the fluid all the way out. And it is that structure that allows you to experience sound or hearing. Let's open this guy up so that we can see what it looks like when you, when you cut across, you cross section that tube. And you can see that there are like three different little smaller tubes that are inside of each loop of the cochlea. Let's look at a magnification of just the inside of the cochlea. And that would be this structure. Um, this structure has got the three little tubes and right here we have got all of the nerve cells, the mechanoreceptor cells, that actually allow you to experience sound. Uh, this tube that is dorsal is called the scala vestibuli. This one at the bottom is called the scala tympani. And this one in the middle is called the cochlear duct. This membrane is called the vestibular membrane. This membrane right here is called the basilar membrane. And it's called the basilar membrane because the mechanoreceptor cells that allow us to experience sound have got their, their feet attached to the basilar membrane. So this is the base 
of a structure, and this whole structure is called the organ of corti. Uh, the organ of corti has got the basilar membrane. These mechanoreceptor cells are referred to as hair cells, and they have got their processes attached into this membrane called the tectorial membrane. 